everybody, it's me again, and this time I'm doing a video on how I design OCs. I have conflict with designing OCs a lot. On one hand, I love creating them and getting to draw new characters, but on the other hand, I struggle with deciding on designs a lot, especially recently. I hope that you enjoy this video anyway. Alright, first up is thinking of an idea. This usually comes randomly to me, or I'll be doing something or seeing something that inspires me, and I'll want to create an OC out of it. I have a lot of ideas that never go anywhere, because I only connect to certain ideas that end up being my OCs, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. If anything, it helps me form stronger connections with the ideas that do end up becoming my OCs. Also, if you struggle to get ideas out of nowhere, you could give an existing OC a friend, or an enemy, or something, and build from there, which is something I do a lot. Let's take my newest OC idea as an example today. I want him to be a deity, so I already have in mind what I planned for him to sort of look like. And since he's friends with a bunch of other OCs that I have, I thought it would be cool to base it off that. Step 2. So, now that you have some kind of idea, what now? Well, once I have my half idea kind of thing, the basis of an OC, I usually think about what I want them to look like. When I have a beginning idea, I know sort of what I want them to look like. For instance, since he's a deity of light magic, he would probably have a light colour scheme, maybe whites or golds or something. So going with your theme and expanding on it helps a lot. Pinterest is a super good place to find inspiration, and I go there a lot to save images and create mood boards, which, if you don't know, is a collage of things that pique your interest. Instagram is also a good place to find inspiration, and I have a whole fo folder full of the stuff. Just a small note though, be careful not to take too many elements of a single inspiration. It's great to be inspired, but try not to make an OC too similar to someone else's, at least not on purpose. There will be many OCs that look alike, and that's fine, but that usually happens by coincidence, not on purpose. Step 3. So, now that you've gathered some ideas for your OC, it's time to get designing. Taking bits and pieces from each part of your mood board, such as hairstyle or colour schemes, and messing around with it until you're satisfied can make a very unique looking OC. To be fair, this part can take a while, and it's okay if you don't come up with something straight away. Most of the time it takes me days to figure out something out, so you're good. As you can see, my main inspiration today is Genshin Impact, and because their designs are quite unique and godlike, I thought that would work well for my day TOC. I also really wanted a detailed design for my OC, so taking inspiration from the fine details of the characters is a big help, since I'm not very good with detailed characters in general. As you'll see soon, I change this up quite a bit, because dissatisfaction really is a blessing, huh? I spent a long time thinking about what to do with his design, and the details, and eventually I came up with something similar, but altered slightly, which I was really happy with in the end. So here I'm picking colours. Like I said before, I was considering white and gold colours because of the whole light magic theme. So colour picking off images with that theme can help you decide on different colour schemes to use.
Alrighty, now for the next part, giving your OCs a personality. This is important if you want them to feel more real and have more than just a pretty face. If you already have one in mind, super. If sort of, I find that taking the MBTI test in the perspective of your OC can help flesh out the character for you. Or if you have no idea, you could use either a personality of someone existent, for example, um, a show you like, or take a look at the design and see what it reflects. For example, I had in mind that my OC is quite sharp and witty, but that was really it. Since his design is quite holy looking, I think maybe making him look more reserved at first glance, but quite curious and hard-headed afterwards would really work for him. Alternatively, you could make your OC the complete opposite personality to how they look and subvert expectations. A little bit of both is kind of nice too. There's no one way of doing it, so trying on different personalities and seeing which one you connect to is your best bet. And that's it basically. You have your OC. Isn't that nice? You can add other stuff like backstories or magical powers or abilities and all that stuff. But that's entirely optional. You can just have your OC the way it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thing and I'll see you next time basically. Bye!